to worship. This will be a very short and very simple worship service. Um, we don't have our 915 or 1015 service in person today because it is Christmas Eve. So we have our three o'clock Christmas Eve service, but I still wanted to offer something for those of you who are unable to join us at three o'clock. Just a reminder before we begin that the cellar closet is closed uh, for the rest of December through month of January and will reopen the first Saturday in February. Now, as we turn our minds and hearts to worship, let us consider these words. Be glad and hear the good news. We are loved. Let us rejoice. Come, let us praise God. I invite you to join me now in our call to worship, which is responsive. Your part is in yellow type. The joy of the season is upon us. The time is almost here. We have come to praise the Lord. We are here to sing our praises to God, the Holy One in whom we place our trust. God opens our eyes and lifts us up. Let us praise God who reigns forever. Our prayer today was written by Ted Loder in one of my favorite books, Gorillas of Grace. Let us pray. O God of all seasons and senses, grant us the sense of your timing to submit gracefully and rejoice quietly in the turn of the seasons. In this season of short days and long nights, of gray and white and cold, teach us the lessons of endings, children growing, friends leaving, loved ones dying, grieving over, grudges over, blaming over, excuses over. Oh God, grant us a sense of your timing. In this season of short days and long nights, of gray and white and cold, teach us the lessons of beginnings, that such waitings and endings may be the starting place, a planting of seeds which bring to birth what is ready to be born, something right and just and different, a new song, a deeper relationship, a fuller love, in the fullness of your time. O oh God, grant us the sense of your timing. We pray these things in the name of your Son, Jesus, who taught us to pray together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen.
Our scripture lesson today comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 1, verses 18 through 25. Now the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took her as his wife, but had no marital relations with her until she had borne a son, and he named him Jesus. Here ends our reading. May God add to our understanding of it. If you have been tuning in on our other Advent Sunday services, then you perhaps remember that each week I have been sharing a children's story. The story I chose this week is um, a sister book of a book that um, someone had given us when I was pregnant with Connor uh, called God Gave Us You. We liked it so much that we couldn't resist buying the book God Gave Us Christmas when we saw it. It's a little bit more simple than the other stories I have shared. However, I deeply believe that there's not much we can say to expound on the story of Christmas. It kind of speaks for itself. This book is a reminder of God's great love for us that resulted in the gift of Christmas. This is God Gave Us Christmas, by Lisa Ton Bergren. Mama, little cub asked one night, who vented Christmas? Is it Santa? No, Mama Bear said, God invented Christmas. God gave us Christmas. Is God more important than Santa? Oh yes, much more important, Mama said with a smile. The next morning, little cub sleepily climbed into her lap. Can we go find Santa, Mama? He lives around here someplace, I think. Hmm. Santa is hard to find, said Mama. But we can go find God. God is everywhere. Yahoo! cried little cub. I didn't know we could find God. Oh, yes, said Mama. We can always find God. Little Cub looked over her shoulder and whispered, Can we leave them at home? Yes, Papa will watch the little ones. You and I can go alone. We'll go and find God. I will see how he gave us Christmas. Yes, Little Cub, you shall see how God gave us Christmas. The next morning, Little Cub and Mama filled their packs, kissed their family goodbye, and set off to find God and see how God gave them Christmas. They walked to the top of one mountain and whooshed down the next, and up another mountain where they set up camp. Little Cub was so, so tired that she went right to sleep. But Mama nudged her while it was still dark. Mama, why are you waking me up? Because it's God, little cub. 
come and see. What is that? Little cub asked in wonder as she watched the dancing lights in the sky. That is God at work, little cub. He, God sent his only son as a baby so that we would know light from dark. Jesus is the light of the world. Jesus is how God gave us Christmas. The next day they arrived at a huge lake. All at once, with a mighty roar, a chunk of ice cut away from the cliff and fell into the sea. What is that? Little Cub asked, covering her ears and leaning into Mama. That is God, Little Cub. God is so powerful that he can command the water to freeze and the glacier to melt. God is mightier than any king on earth. And because God is all powerful, God made Jesus king of all kings. But Jesus was just a baby. How could he be a king? All kings begin as babies. God knew we would need someone we could touch and see and smell. Mama paused to sniff little cub's neck, making her giggle, to understand just how much he loved each one of us. Mama awoke little cub again before the sun came up. She pointed to the east at a star that changed from green to red to green again and shot out in many points. Is that God again? Little cub asked, rubbing her eyes. Yes, Jesus is called the bright morning star. He is always with us. And he first came when God gave us Christmas. But what about Santa? Little Cub asked, did God give us Santa? Santa Claus reminds us about many good things like generosity and care, but it's God and Jesus that we celebrate most come Christmas. We always want to thank God for giving us Christmas. On the way home, Mama Bear stopped by a tiny flower peeking up from the hard frozen ground. Oh, you are too early, little flower, she said. Little cub, Jesus is like this flower, God in our world, living where you wouldn't expect him, surprising us. Christmas is a lot about surprises. Mm-hmm, like presents. Yes, and Jesus is the best present of all. And God would have given us that present even if it was only for you. Only for me? Only for you, little cub. God gave you Christmas. Mama and little cub came upon a church, glowing with warm light. Soft voices reached out to them singing. What are they singing, Mama? About the night God first gave us Christmas, when Jesus was born, tomorrow is Christmas Day. Would Jesus have come from mean old Maggie the Moose or grumpy old Frankie the Fox, little cub whispered? Maggie, Frankie, any of us. Jesus is present for everyone. Grumpy or happy, mean or kind, God gave us all Christmas. Little cub was glad to be back at home that night in her cozy bed. Thanks for showing me God, Mama. There isn't anything I'd rather do, sweet child, she said with a kiss. Night, night. Little cub went to sleep and dreamed of bright stars and northern lights, of a king born as a tiny baby, angels singing over him, and woke up to Christmas. Yahoo, she cried. God gave us Christmas. Again. As you come closer to Christmas, I hope you remember that God gave you Christmas out of a great abundance of love for you. Amen. And now as we go from this time of worship, may love be our song, our prayer, and our endless story. May God fill every day we share with love. Let us go with love in our hearts, rejoicing, for Christ is coming. Amen.